to my channel my name's ella if you're new here hi welcome um and if you're a subscriber thank you very much today's video is going to be a very long overdue update um period update copper coil update why did i come off the copper coil was it an absolute nightmare like it seems to be for so many people do i regret my choice to get the copper coil i'm gonna be I'm going to be filling you in on all the information right now. So if you haven't seen my previous videos about copper coils, they're right here. I got a copper coil back in 2018, I want to say 2018. Um, and my main reason for getting that was because I wanted to come off of hormonal birth control. I went on the copper coil when I was 22. I had been on hormonal birth control since I went on my period, came on my period at 20, uh, at, sorry, 13, 13 or 14. I went on the, the pill and I hadn't been off of it, didn't have any breaks. And I was starting to go a bit insane on it. And I didn't know why I was feeling things. And I was like, yeah, it just it felt wrong to be on hormonal birth control anymore. I wanted to give my body a break. Um, but I also did not want to get pregnant, which is why I decided to go for the copper coil. Um, you can watch my previous videos if you want to know more about the whole getting it put in and how it felt in the first couple of months on it and everything like that. Um, I'm just going to give you just a quick update um, and for my reasons for getting it out. I mean, I had it for five years I got it in 2018 and I got it out in 2022 that's four years four years I had it in for um and the first couple of years I mean for the first year I was just getting used to it um it took my body quite a while to adjust to it my periods were very very heavy like extremely heavy for about the first year on and off um definitely heavier than they would have ever been on the pill. Also, I could just tell my body was still adjusting to it because I had really bad acne. I've got acne videos as well on my channel. Um, obviously, my skin has definitely cleared up now, which I'm so grateful for. Um, and yeah, my body was just a little bit all over the place for the first like eight months, a year after coming off of the pill and going onto the copper coil. Now, I think that's probably more to do with just coming off the pill than the copper coil, except from the heavy periods. That's definitely to do with the copper coil. And this is a very common side effect. I mean, I think the most people that have the copper coil will experience some heavier bleeding than they would have originally had without the copper coil. So I was kind of expecting that. Another common thing is that people get really painful periods. I also definitely experienced that. Although after the first year, they definitely calmed down. They were manageable, you know, they were manageable. I think I think for the second and third and half of the fourth year, I was like, this is still worth it. It still felt worth it to have the coil. I mean, my periods were definitely heavier. Um, I would like find myself bleeding through a lot more, but not to the point where it's causing me any problems. They were, I thought, more painful than they were when they were when I was on the pill. Um, so that was another thing. But again, nothing that a bit of paracetamol couldn't help. And the benefits of not having to be on hormonal birth control and not having to worry about getting pregnant far outweighed the negatives for that period of time. But as the last couple of months came up and I was noticing, I was hoping that I wasn't going to have to go to work when I was on like my first three days of my period, just because the thought of that was a little bit like giving me a little bit of anxiety because I didn't want to bleed through. And with my sort of work, it's not like I could just wear some big period pants and forget about it. Like if I'm doing an acting job or a dancing job, I kind of have to wear like small underwear, um, discreet underwear and 
just the thought of bleeding through on a job was just causing me a bit of anxiety. Um, and I was, I did find myself having more painful days as the time went on. And so I kind of made just a bit of a, a, a spur of the moment decision. I was just like, I think I'm just going to get it out and try natural cycles because I've heard so much about natural cycles. I can do a whole separate video on how I'm finding natural cycles because it's now been uh, probably close to nine months or so of me using natural cycles. Um, I could do a whole separate video on that. So I decided to get it out. I was a little bit nervous to get it out because of my experience get, getting it put in was quite painful. Um, so I was worried and I went to sexual health clinic, struggled to get a booking to get it out for quite a while, managed to have like a cancellation or something. And then I went there. Honestly, the whole process of getting it out was so quick, easy and painless. Um, however, I did get a little bit, <laughs> a little bit scared because the nurse uh, taking it out was then kind of um, just kind of overplaying the fact that I could get pregnant from having had sex before getting it out. And so I had to have the morning after pill, which I've never had before. Um, and she was also talking to me about like, maybe I should start taking uh, some like prenatal <laughs> vitamins and i was just like mm. i've just got my copper coil out but I, I didn't expect to like get it out and then be instantly pregnant like that's not the plan i do not want to be pregnant right now but you know i was like kind of frightened me a little bit um and then i started on natural cycles which i'm currently on so really my reasons for getting it out was that my periods i'd had it in for four years four years is a decent amount of time the one that i got could have been in for 10 years uh i probably would have had it taken out before 10 years anyway and my stage of life changed you know I've been in a long-term relationship for six and a half years now I don't want to get pregnant right now but also if I did it might not be the end of the world <laughs> and um I also just trusted myself to kind of rely on my own body's clock you know throughout the month and with natural cycles you can quite easily tell when you are ov ovulating and when you're not um and i kind of just wanted to have a go of just not having anything foreign inside of me so having something foreign inside of me doesn't tend to work well i've had other foreign things <laughs> inside of me i mean i'm talking about stents here guys stents um and my body always kind of rejects these sorts of things a little bit and I did find that I was having, yeah, more stronger period pains, but also quite strong ovulation pains. And so that was two times a month that I was in some sort of pain. Plus I have kidney disease and kidney stones. So I was having kidney pains. And to be honest, I just wanted to make things go away. <laughs> I just wanted to make the pain go away. And I was thinking that get it, getting it removed would do that. However, now having been off of it for quite a while i realized that definitely the heaviness in my periods is much better my periods are much lighter they used to last for six or seven days on the copper coil um and now they last maybe four so much more manageable in that aspect they're also much lighter don't find myself worrying about bleeding through as much. And I do use um, cups and reusable period products. So I guess I wouldn't bleed through with a tampon. It's just sometimes cup cups can be a little bit more difficult. Um, but I do, I mean, I find it worth it anyway. And um, I also realised that my periods are just kind of painful. Like, even since getting it out, I have two days one day where my period pains will be, you know, I'll just have like cramps. And then I tend to have once throughout my menstrual cycle, it, on one day, it's usually like the second or third day, sometimes even the fourth day, to be honest, when my period's like not even really there anymore, where the pain 
for like two hours will just all of a sudden go up a notch and I will not be able to move. Weird. I don't know if that's normal. Like, is that normal to be just like most of the time fine in your period and then one day so bad that it's like you're rolling around in agony? Um, I don't know. Like, it's not really something that the doctors tell you like it's just yeah it's just period pains like deal with it but like last time I had my period my boyfriend was like is this normal I was like I don't know is it normal like it's it's unfair if this is normal but let me know do you have one day in your period where it's just like excruciating pain or are yours kind of generally fine or are yours always painful I'd love to know um but yeah those were the reasons why I got my copper coil removed I didn't have a terrible experience would I recommend you get one I think take into consideration what I've said, it depends where your priorities lie. If you find it really important that you don't have to think about taking a pill every day, you don't wanna be on hormonal birth control, you don't wanna get pregnant, copper coil seems like quite a good idea. If you definitely, definitely can't handle heavier, period, heavier periods or more painful periods, copper coil might not be for you. Let me know if you've got any other comments down below, but I hope this caught you up on where I'm at right now. Fully natural, nothing foreign, not, nothing hormonal. Feeling pretty good about that. Periods are still painful, but that's just kind of being a woman, isn't it? Which is really annoying. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've got any comments or questions down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I know the majority of people that watch these videos are not subscribed, but I do really appreciate it if you do subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!